modules help us in managing a code in more reusable manner. Typically, module is a folder containing set of related files. When it comes to Terraform, module is basically a folder containing set of Terraform files, Terraform templates. And it helps us to organize in better manner and it also helps us to reuse them wherever we want. Even when we guys work on Terraform, it's very, very important to organize them as modules. This video, let's focus on how to uh, create project structure with modules and I'll show how to use modules in Terraform. I want to build this example from scratch. Let's go ahead and create a separate project and let's see the implementation. Let's create Terraform app. Let's get into this directory. I want to open this directory in my Atom editor. Let's open that. First, let's focus on creating directory structure. I want to create folder specific to modules. I want to keep all my modules in this directory. Folder name can be any name you like. I'm, I'm giving a relevant name, modules. Along with modules, I want a couple of other folders for different environments like dev and one more folder for a prod. If you have even more environments, you can have more directories for that. So let's build a couple of modules. I want to build VPC as a module and EC2 instance as a module. I'll show how to use those modules in dev and also in prod. So under modules, I want to create a VPC and I want one more folder for EC2 instances. So I created directories for that. I want to create a new file for uh, defining VPCs and subnets. Let's call this one as networking.tf Terraform file. So let's check Terraform documentation for uh, defining VPCs and subnets. Let's copy this one. So paste it. Let's also parameterize these arguments. I want to take out this hard coded value and replace with variables there. So variable, variable name and its default value. Even this I want to substitute with variable. Let's define variable here. Okay, it's also good to have a separate Terraform template which holds all these variables. Better let's move these variables into a different file because when your application grows with more resources, it's always good to have different files containing different types of resources. And the same module, let's create vas.tf. Let's put all those variables in this. I want to have one subnet under which we are going to launch EC2 instance. Again, let's get this information from Terraform document.
okay let's grab this So one option what we can do is we can directly assign this VPC ID but I want my user who is going to use this module to decide what VPC ID you want to map to this subnet for that I want this to be a variable so VPC ID let's also take out this one replace with a interpolation which refers to the variable let's define these variables in variables file vpc id and subnet cider and one more is this one subnet cider okay I'm not assigning any value the guy who is using this module should supply this value a cider block I want to put a default value if the guy using this module doesn't supply any value then it uses this default value if you want to make this variable mandatory don't put any default value or if you want to make that variable optional then put some default values into that 24 yeah if you want more information about cider calculations please check my other video for vpc subnets and ciders now our networking resources are ready we have vpc we have subnets Likewise, we can go and add more resources like route tables, internet gateways, and all those stuff. Now, let's focus on EC2 module. Let's go ahead and let's create Terraform templates for VPC. Sorry, EC2. I want to say. U file instances.tf. Let's grab the code from document Terraform document. Let's search for Terraform EC2 instance. I don't want much code from this, I want just this piece of uh, a code. Okay. AMI ID, I want this to be a variable. AMI ID instance type, this also I want it as a variable. Instance type. So along with this, I want to put this one inside a subnet. So let's check document how to use subnet for uh, EC2 instance. Let's check under argument reference. This should be subnet ID. Yeah. Let's grab this. Put it here. Even this I want it as uh, a variable. subnet id okay our networking part is ready this is a separate module even our ec2 instances module is ready let me also put something like count let's define this as a variable Okay, and make sure these variables are defined inside say module as well 
So you see two. Now let's go ahead and create a file for putting our variables. Think this one. Let's just copy the EC2. Let's open this. So variable AMI ID, right? Let's not assign any default value. The caller will pass this information. Instance type. I want this one to be T2 micro. This is also defined subnet ID. So let's keep this empty. Let's take out this now. Yeah, these are the variables with respect to EC2 instance. A few variables are having default values and for few variables we didn't assign any value. Both the modules are ready. Let's see how to reuse these two modules in different environments. So first let's see how to reuse them in dev environment. You can think of dev environment as a separate a stack separate project so let's create one file in this again file names can be anything i am keeping it little relevant i want this one to be main.tf so i want let's say two instances a one instance under my vpc and subnet i am not going to define those resources again instead i want to reuse them which is part of my module. Terraform has a concept of module. The module name, let's say uh, my VPC, you can put any name you like. Source, when it comes to modules, source can be in same workspace, otherwise same uh, server. Even this source can be on remote locations like Git a bit bucket. Even it supports different remote locations to maintain the modules. So in this case, our module is part of same project. So I want to give a relative path to that module. We are currently under dev. I want to go one directory back. That is our project root. From there, I want to get into modules. And from there, I want to refer this VPC. One directory back. From their modules, under modules, VPC. We are using this module. This is the path of that module. And if you see the module code, it takes few arguments VPC cider, tenancy, and all of them like VPC ID, subnet ID, uh, subnet cider. So those things, we need to supply them now. So coming back to this, let's refer one by one and pass them. So I wanna have my own cider block. So equals 192, okay. And I want my own tenancy. Let's keep this one as default. VPC ID. Yeah, VPC ID is required for uh, the subnet. So we need to supply the VPC ID under which this subnet should be created that's that's we need to pass so vpc cider tenancy vpc id i'll get back to this in a moment and what else we have 
सबने साइड ब्लॉक subnet side block make sure that cider falls under this vpc pattern i want this one to be 24 and okay now the challenge is this i want to get this vpc id uh, under which our subnet is going to be created and this vpc id this vpc doesn't exist in our dev environment correct this vpc exists in a module now the point is how to access that value from a module and use it in this code so for that we have solutions what we should do is under your modules anything you want to access outside somewhere else define them as a output see there i want vpc id and this module should return back that vpc id then only that guy in dev environment can use this value so output from this vpc resource i want to uh, output that export that using interpolations resource type its logical name and its attribute so this resource exports id you can check that in a terraform documentation it exports id which is vpc id so this module right we are defining output in we are defining output in sense this module returns back this value so and this can be used in dev environment so here we should refer to the value which is exported otherwise returned by this module okay now the syntax for accessing that value from the module is like this so module dot module name so module name is vpc and under that module this is the output name take that and put it here if you have any confusions feel free to watch this particular section again we are done with networking part now we should add instances to this network so again i am not going to define my own resource i want to refer back to the module which is defined here module name let's call this one as my ec2 source one directory back from their modules and the module name in sense the directory name is ec2 so i need to supply all the values for this particular module ec2 count let's say i want this one as one for now so a my id i'll come back to that instance type t2 micro see, see even if you don't supply this i think the default value is t2 micro and subnet id and which subnet you want this ec2 instance that we need to supply here we should get this value from the module vpc module the way we did for vpc id similarly we have to do it for subnet id also so get back to this module 
define one more output this time this is subnet id and resource type is this logical name is main and the argument name is id this now we can access in our dev environment module dot module name is vpc this one this is the module name and its id so this is how we reuse modules in different environments so first let's provision this and see the output and i will cover how to write similar code for production environment This is a brand new project. We should initialize it. We are currently in the application root. Let's get into dev and try Terraform in it. Okay. Unknown module referenced VPC. Okay. Let's fix this issue. Looks like we did a mistake. This is not this folder name this one must be this logical module name yeah and even in this case it should be this one now let's try it okay okay we are missing a my id let's also put that AMI id so grab this AMID from AWS Management Console under EC2 dashboard. Under EC2. Try to launch an instance. And I want to use this AMI ID. AMI ID is so specific to region. So AMI ID in this region will not work in other regions. So please make sure of that also let's check the variable name for that AMI ID. calls in the codes Let, let's read on the code now It's initializing your modules plus it's also initializing your uh, plugins for uh, the provider Amazon Web Services. The project got initialized successfully. Let's apply the change. A default value. Okay. Let's keep this one as. Uh, AP South one looks like we didn't add provided details. It's good to add provided details along with its region. So better include that here. Provider AWS region equals p south one okay it's going to add three resources one is vpc under that one is vpc under that a subnet under that subnet ec2 instance let's say yes Let's check in the console. Cancel this and let's check VPC first. Okay. 
should be a VPC. Yeah, this is the VPC 192.168. Uh, the name is main. Let's also check subnet. Looks like still it's creating a subnet. Now it's creating a subnet. Let's check that. See, under main VPC, this subnet is created with the cider block we defined. That's also ready. Okay. The Terraform code is still waiting for the subnet to be ready. Let's wait for some time. Something went wrong. Invalid subnet ID. Okay. Invalid subnet ID. Looks like this value is not replaced with its actual value. Okay. Let me check this. Let me check this. Subnet ID. EC2. Okay. Dollar is missing. There's a syntax issue. Let's retry. Resources are successfully provisioned. Let's check them in the dashboard. See that EC2. Yeah, we have one running EC2 instead. This is how we manage modules in Terraform. Before closing this session, I want to help you with how to reuse these things in fraud environment. So it should something look similar to this. In fraud, let's create a file main.tf, our own provider, and you can pass different values in this case. This can be different. This can be different and all these values can be different. So this is how we reuse modules. This is how we reuse them across different environments and even different projects. It is also a good practice to have these values into a separate variables in every environment. So we can have our own file, vas.tf and Move all those values, don't hard code them. Move all those values into that separate file. So, this is how we manage modules in Terraform. Thanks for watching. Thank you.